hi guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today we are adding into our reference journal um, I'm going to use a few bits up that um, I had previously made um, so like these little sort of like little um, frames that I've got now these are I've added some acetate into these a little while ago and I've not really used them now what these frames are are from some greeting cards like this so all as I have done um, is sort of like inked over the um, sort of like embossed bit here with a little bit of my little blending tool a little bit of ink on there just to bring out the, the um, embossed piece which looks really nice um, which was this piece I don't have any more of these I can't find any more of these but I've got this one just to show you how it was done um, so these were the cards so that was on the card and what I did I cut the middle bit out and popped a piece of acetate through now I think I've just sellotaped on here a bit of sticky tape to hold the acetate on um, and then what I've done I've just got a piece of the lovely double-sided um, double-sided tape um, just to stick them onto the page so I have two of those um, so I thought I'd do another double page I like doing the double pages in the reference journal I think it looks really nice so um, I've actually covered the back or not covered it completely but just done sort of like a dry brush with this with some gesso now this is the gesso that I use um, which is a really nice one I've got the link to that I believe on my Amazon storefront so if you wanted to take a look but I've just got a really old scruggy old brush an old paint brush but it's got some beautiful scruffy um, bristles on it which give a really good texture on the back so I've just dipped it into the gesso um, and then just gone over it just randomly a little bit of dry brushing on there and just let that dry so that gives it a lovely sort of like textury sort of background um, and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to pop these either side um, one on either side like that and then I've got a piece of card and then what I thought I would do is just pop like make a little sort of um, tag to sort of go in and out so we've got a little journaling spot in that window so I'm going to two of those um, and I've got some paper that I had left over from a project I was doing this week so I'm just going to back that with with those um, and to get them out of the little pocket I've made a little tab for the top now that's really really simple um, I've just got a piece of card I folded it over and then what I've done I've just taken a little notch out of each side with my hole punch um, so I shall show you quickly how to do that so that's a piece of card it's not a hole punch it's my circle punch this one which is the three quarters of an inch so all as I did I folded a piece of card in half and then I've just taken the corner like that and just popped it out like that so that gives you a sort of a tab top like that so that's quite simple um, so I've got two of those so let's get going so I'm trying to use up some of the bits that I've already um, got lying around as well so we don't have to bring out all sort of new bits I've got a few that's the tape that I used on the back of these um, which is a really nice strong um, double-sided tape I've got a few bows oh and these I made a little while ago as well which I thought would, <coughs> excuse me would look really nice inside the little um, cards or popped onto the tags should I say really now these are just I believe I just cut my butterfly wing my little butterflies in half and pop them on there um, like that which I think looks really nice now the little figures are these which are the little um, paper dolls by Tim Holtz so I'm sure you've seen those as well and you've probably got them uh, but I thought they would look really nice I've made a couple of these um, well I've got a bunch of these um, as well which I love I think they look so so pretty and a few of the little words so that's what I'm going to be using and we're going to make up a nice little double page on these so that bit's done so I'm just going to sort of push that little, or maybe we should have to move it all out of the way, just over this side here. So we've got our little two white pieces here, we've got two pieces of spare paper here, so I just want to cover cover the card. So what should we do it in? Let's do a little bit of 
glue stick will do so let's just cover these up so if you've got any of those sort of like old cards or you might even have um, um, like something that you could print out an aperture or something on there um, on your um, big shot or something like that or if you didn't have one you could just stick them onto a piece of card so there's lots and lots of different ways so let's just stick that on there I don't really mind where it goes and cut that out stick that down and we shall stick this one on glue this up see I'm trying to use up some of the stuff that I've already got lying around I've got so much stuff everywhere um, I need to do something with all my scrap bits of paper again so I'm going to have to find a little project for us all to do I think let's stick that on there which bit do I want let's have this bit here I think it out cut this out like that I think it's got I think this card is 160 gram I believe so that looks nice that I've, that I've printed it onto and also the card that I'm sticking it onto is 160 gram as well not going to sew around it but obviously you can sew around it if you wanted to sew around it I don't think I've cut that out very well so there we go got those bits out of the way so what would be it will be we like that so that will be the back of it so I think that looks really nice doesn't it I hope this acetate's not shining too much so now we need to decorate these what did I do with the little top pieces oopsie daisy there's one and there's the other one and what I'm going to do I'm just going to ink these up I think just pop a little bit of ink over the top get my ink out just like that I think when you do it like this it almost looks sort of like leathery um, on there so I think that looks really nice as like a little tab top like that and the other one and you can just glue these together and stick them on just the same sort of way as you'd make a like a little page tab so there we go Let's just ink around this a little bit, I think. There we go. Perfect. So let's pop them up the right way. I'm going to stick this little tab at the top. Now, I want to measure it so if it goes in. So we need enough room for it to pop out the top go in the middle so roughly let's get our glue Pop this all over this is quite a simple one really um, but re do remember I do tell you most times when we're making stuff get your bits and pieces together oops so they're all to hand and it makes it so much easier so you can actually, um, you're not looking for stuff all the time. You've got it all there ready. Okay. Does that look level? Yes. I think so. Make sure that's stuck on that nicely. There's that one. 
That's pretty level. There we are. Perfect. So that will just sit in there like that, which looks nice. And then you've got something to pull it out with on there. Okay, right. The next thing I would like to do before I stick the little um, figures on there. I'm going to move this back over, put these down so I can lean on here. I want to stick these down on the page. So I don't want them completely level like that. I want to sort of like have them a little bit offset I think. That one lower and that one a little bit higher. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this little bit of Double sided tape off if I can. Get my little all here. There we go. I did double sided tape because I think it was a little bit easier than gluing it down um, because we want to put a tag in it. I don't want the sort of like glue all over the place and we don't have enough room in there to pop the tag in and out. By using double sided tape, you know where it's going to stick. If that makes sense. I'm just going to stick that one like that. Take this off. Just a little bit higher. Like that. Oops, you can see. Okay, so I think that looks nice. Now, where's our little tags? And then these, then just pop in there like that. And I think it looks really nice like that, doesn't it? Okay, so eyeballing it, we need to find our little figures. Where's our little paper dolls? So we'll have the little one there. So I'm just trying to see, because I want it to be in the middle of that tag. So we want it, so she's sort of on that bit there. I'll have to do that again, I'm sure. She's just a tiny little bit too big, but I think she will be okay. So if we put her head on that one there, that should be okay. Like that. I'm going to just stick this down. I'm going to stick it down again with a little bit. Actually, that's a little bit um, shiny. These are a little bit shiny on here, the little paper dolls. So what I might do is use some Fabri-Tac on there. Just a little bit. A little bit on her feet. It's a daisy. And then just stick it on. Obviously I don't want to put too much on the tag because it's going in and out of the pocket and I don't want it to catch. So let's see if that will pop in there like that. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? I hope that's not too shiny for you. Hope you can see that. Right, so where were we going to put this little one? Let's pop you in there. Doesn't really matter. So I'm going to just put her like that. A little bit of fabric tack on there. Okay, 
so I think that looks really really pretty doesn't it very sort of vintagey this one isn't it with a little pop of colour so there we go that's her in there I'm liking this I think that looks really nice now what I have I've got the little bits of flower trim here the little bits of rose trim I've got the purple one which I think would look nice on the little purple winged butterfly and then I've got the little pink one here and then I've got some words so we've got grateful on this one and then I have a family on this one now I think that looks really nice I'm going to leave this as well I was going to um, stamp on it but I quite like it left sort of like almost sort of a plainish with just a little bit of the rose trim so two four six I'm going to have I'm going to do nine little roses on there on that bottom piece and then we will have two four six eight nine little roses on this side and I think that looks really really nice doesn't it I'm going to stick that maybe I'll have a little bit of cheesecloth hoping it's not going to be glaring too much for you let's stick a little bit of this on here so it's not shiny so it's probably shiny on there to pop a tiny bit of cheesecloth under there I think because it sort of blends in a little bit too much I think can't really see it so let's take our lovely cheesecloth like that wrinkle it all up and just stick that on what should we have a little bit of um, fabric tack I think under there seeing it's there like that. put that on there stick it down same on this one cheesecloth of course we have to have the cheesecloth don't we a little bit oopsie daisy those inside hoping that they're not gonna shine too much there we go let's hope it's not too shiny for you but I think that looks really really nice again you can add things around the outside if you wanted to but I quite like it sort of like left like that um, again you can pop as many tags in there as you like but I think these look really really lovely so there we go, there was your little project for today, adding to our reference journal. I'm hoping that's not glaring too much. A little bit, so that's a little bit better if I lift it up like that. Um, they don't shine so much. So there we go guys, thank you so so much for joining me. Um, I hope you're going to give this one a go. Um, adapt it to however you feel it is right and all the things that you have at home. Uh, but this is just sort of like a general idea for you um, to follow. 
so thank you so much for joining me please stay safe take care of yourselves and i will see you next time all right guys bye bye